bottom line is that we um, implement this for each individual senior key personnel. You note that on the form itself, it tells you that it's how well qualified the individual team or organization is to conduct the proposed activity. Ironically, that's the same thing NSF has always said on its form. So uh, we have implemented the common form, implements the NSF approach on this issue. Uh, again, I note here that foreign talent recruitment programs are required to be identified and you certify that you're not a uh, party to a malign foreign talent recruitment program. We got an email yesterday, I've got a problem. I've got this format, it doesn't appear to be working. They were trying to submit something that was not developed in Science CV. If we have automatic compliance checks, if you don't use it, you can keep pressing that button and it's still not going to come in because it will not meet our compliance requirements. Something that I want to resolve right here and right now about synergistic activities. Did I do something wrong? Oh no, he's coming back in. I thought he was having to get me. <laughs> is fully compliant with the common forms. I'm going to show you a couple of places that we're just trying to emphasize. The page limitation has been removed from the biographical sketch. Synergistic activities because other agencies didn't want it. We still want it. So we moved it out of the biographical sketch so that we are consistent. I want to let you know that this is something that our senior leadership at NSF opined on. They wanted to make clear we were on board with this approach at NSF. So we moved out synergistic activities. One page, that includes a list of up to five distinct examples that demonstrate the broader impact of the individual's professional and scholarly activities that focus on the integration and transfer of knowledge as well as its creation. That's not what I want to emphasize. The next bullet is what I want to emphasize. Please do not continue to send this question to policy at NSF.com. <laughs> Inclusion of sub-examples is permissible as long as it does not exceed one page and does not result in more than five distinct examples. People are saying, well, the old PATH guide, 23-1, did not permit sub-examples, so therefore, we're translating that to be in 24-1. Where does it say that? Well, it said it in 23-1. It does not say that in 24-1. So therefore, you can do it. Please, Sam could be retired now if she had a dollar for every <laughs> She's a very wealthy woman anyway, but this would make her <laughs> So in, important, and again, I'm using this to highlight things that people are may not have gotten in our original implementation. Now, here's what the common our, our common form instructions that I want to specify. Enter the persistent ID, that's on both of the forms for the senior key person. We specifically call out ORCID. It is optional, but we call out ORCID, and that is permitted by the guidance in the senior key person forms. Products, I'm here to tell you, say thank you, NSF, because this one's big. For NSF, it says a list of products that demonstrate the individual's ability to carry out the project as proposed. We say, for NSF, a list of up to five products most closely related to the proposed project and up to five additional, five other significant products. That's what we've always done. If then this was permitted in the guidance to the agencies that they could consider administrative burden in implementing this and specify a number. So NSF has done that. And we think it's important because some of these faculty who have been in this business for a long time can have a lot of products. So we just want to make that clear that that was part of NSF's implementation. Current and pending support, we other support, we are lockstep with um, what is in those uh, common forms. 
still required for each senior key person, still used to assess the capacity or any conflicts of commitment that may impact the ability of the individual to carry out the research as proposed. We still use it to assess any scientific and budgetary overlap or duplication. And again, science CV and your certifying to malign foreign talent. 